First of all, I want to apologize on behalf of all of the teams here. Uh, this is democracy, and the beauty of democracy is having a debate and discussion on issues. It's not uh, an area to scream profanities. So I apologize for any of you who are offended by some of the profanity that has been used. Uh, and again, please, uh, uh, you, you have my word that I will not do that in, in front of all of you. Uh, I do want to recount history when it comes to debt service. By the way, it's 300 million, the bond. Uh, but uh, one of the first acts of my, of my opponent uh, was to amend a, a bond law. Of course, the original bond law uh, was to finance uh, schools and construction of schools. Of course, he made amendments in it that took out the, per the building of a, t a central high school. Thank goodness we finally got the Tijin High School built, uh, fixed, and as well as an Aston Middle School. And that change was made for paying tax refunds. The ultimate irony of it all was he passed a bill and a bond measure to pay tax refunds. And then, through the actions of his administration, made a, a wanton decision not to pay tax refunds. The earned income credit was not paid, and he never was able to pay tax refunds on time. That He started this 20-year trend. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a debt. I came in there, and I saw a debt. And of course, I think this is something where the governor has a unity of opinion, the same as a Democratic majority. Uh, they believe that debt was not due and payable and uh, had no compunction to pay the people of Guam those tax refunds. When I came in there and I saw, and by the way, it doesn't take long when you see people crying and begging for a tax refund. That was just not right. So we restructured this debt that was already owed to the people. That was compounding interest at 7% because of three or four years of not paying them. And we floated on, by the way, got an A rating comparative to his junk bond rating when he was governor. We got an A rating and got it 4.9 and 4.6% structured over 30 years. I don't know about you, but it sure seems to work out fine with us. By the way, the debt service now, with all debt, by the way, Governor, you're giving me credit for 1.2 billion, that was a 300 million. Some of that stuff started with you. Uh, 78 million dollars and it'll be up to 82 in 2017. Uh, but we've done it the right way. We restructured the debt and by the way, uh, every year, we've had three years in a row paying tax refund and fund, uh, refunds on time. These past two years, out of cash flow, we pay the debt service first. You're getting roads fixed. You're getting schools fixed. Uh, you're getting the tax refunds paid out on time. Uh, and improvement in service, including hiring policemen and firemen and more fire trucks and, po and police vehicles, etc., etc., etc. We can do it, and, and I guarantee you, we won't raise taxes or cut off or, or, high, or, or fire thousands of, of government employees like my opponent stated he will do when he becomes governor. Thank you.